Oh, oh geez. What time is it? Nine. Not bad. It's still so dark outside. I thought we slept in till like, eleven. It's the weather, I guess. It's snowing. No sun. Cloudy. Makes me a bit lazy to get up. You have it too? Then let's be lazy for a little longer. I can't believe a whole year passed by again. It's like yesterday I remember our last Christmas. I love this time. Dressing up the tree, decorating it, cooking and prepping meals you wouldn't normally. Spending time with family, opening gifts. The only thing I don't like is the cleaning part, but... <laughs> You know, I'm not one to shy away from housework, but it's a whole different ballgame during this time. I'm talking about windows, floors, shifting furniture to get access to other unused parts of the room. It's a lot of work, especially in this big house. Luckily, I have someone who will help me with that, though, right? <laughs> of course I'm talking about you. No, no, it is necessary. This is how I was raised. I don't see our Christmas any differently. Here, here, just cuddle with me. We can talk about this later. I love this quiet, don't you? Feels like time slows down when it snows like this. Do you remember the first time we decorated this tree together? I swear, untangling those lights was an adventure. Hey, pass me that photo album from last Christmas. Look at this. The snowman we built. It was a masterpiece. Remember how your grandma's recipe went wrong last year? We laughed for days. Promise me we'll make her recipe again this year, even if it ends up a mess. Nothing beats these moments. Just you and me. No rush. Can we stay like this forever? Or remember when the power went out that one Christmas Eve? We ended up telling stories by candlelight. Those were the best stories, weren't they? I still can't believe how quickly time flies. Feels like just yesterday we were planning our first Christmas together. Do you ever think about what the future holds for us during these moments? I hope no matter what happens, we'll always have these memories to cherish. It's funny how a snowy day like this can make everything feel so magical. Let's make a promise to keep these traditions alive, no matter where life takes us. You make every moment feel special, especially during the holidays. I'm grateful for you, you know that? Remember when we first met? You seemed a bit lost, but it was endearing. I've always admired how you trust me to take care of things. You've got this way of letting me lead, making me feel needed. I feel like everything I do it's going to be worth it. I can't express enough how perfect you are to me. I've been searching for somebody like you all my life. Most boys aren't like you. 
They want to take control, do whatever they want. They rarely want to settle down or talk about the serious things in life. From the minute I saw you, though, I just knew. I knew I had to have you. I could tell you were the good boy I was looking for. When we first talked, even more things revealed to me. I was like under a spell. And nothing changed. I'm still just as obsessed with you now. I'll never let you go. Mm. You know what I'm thinking about? Breakfast. <laughs> Why don't you cook something for me? I don't know. I like to be surprised. Think of something. Eggs? Mm, I like them too. But I think you can do much better than that. <laughs> no, no. Come on, get up. Like I said... I want you to surprise me. I want you to prepare a nice, special holiday meal for both of us. I went to the store yesterday, so the fridge is full. Therefore, you can be very creative. <laughs> okay, I'll be waiting for you here. Mmm, well that smells delicious. Oh wow, and it looks even better. Looks like you really outdid yourself with this one. You know, watching you in the kitchen, it's like seeing an artist at work. You have this way of turning ordinary ingredients into something extraordinary. It's one of the many things I adore about you. Mmm, this tastes amazing. You know, I usually think I know what to expect, but you always manage to surprise me, even when I think I know. Your creativity never fails to impress. <laughs> yes, I know I'm talking about food, but seriously, this is fantastic. I'm so proud of you. After all, I've kind of set you up by leaving it up to you and not giving you any suggestions. <laughs> Remember that time you tried to make that fancy dessert and ended up with a caramelized mess? We laughed so hard. It was a disaster. A delicious disaster, though. Oh, and here's my favorite tea, too. Thank you. Come here. Get under the blanket with me again. It's much warmer here. By the way, I was waiting with this, but I already have a present for you. <laughs> what? No, you cannot see. You have to wait. Tradition, you forgot? <laughs> no, no. I knew if I told you you would keep asking. I'm not going to tell you what it is. But it's something you will be very happy with. I'm sure of it. Don't ask me what size it is, what genre it is. No, I won't give you any clues. Just wanted to let you know that I already took care of you. 
What about me? Do you have a gift for me already? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know what it is. Let's be fair. I'm not telling you. You're not telling me. It's supposed to be a surprise. Let's not ruin it for each other. You appreciate things much more when you don't know you're going to get them. Well, actually... There's one thing you are going to receive today. Well, it's a gift for the both of us, really. Maybe even more for me than you when I think about it. But more on that later. For now, let's just focus on the present. No pun intended. Look how much I've consumed already. And then look at your plate. Come on. Let's enjoy this meal. I cherish these moments, especially the simpler ones like this. Just the two of us. No distractions. It's these quiet times that remind me how lucky I am. As are you, too. I mean, can you fathom it? Us never meeting things being like they used to be. I couldn't imagine my life again without my good boy next to me. Serving me. Loving me. Being so loyal and obedient. <laughs> I remember when you first called me mommy. At first it was hilarious. But then, it actually not only made sense, but felt good too. Because that's what I am for you, isn't it? I always take care of you, just like a mommy would. I'll always be your mommy. I appreciate the title. I know a lot of girls your age wouldn't find that pleasing, or even fun at all. They're barely women, though. We gotta give them a break, right? <laughs> because it's not about being legal. It's about the maturity. Maturity that comes with experience. Real-life experience. A woman like me has lived through many summers and winters. I've seen lots of things. I've seen the cruel and the cool. I've seen the stupid and smart. I simply know what it is, which is also probably what makes you so attached, isn't it? Mm, yeah, a grown woman has that magic. It's like a mean spell. Once you see it, you cannot unsee it. And with time, you only want to see more. And more. And more. And when on top of that, she's as caring and nurturing as me. You just lose it. You lose your mind. Am I right? Mm, but don't get me wrong. You're doing the exact same to me. So much so that I'm ready to stop what I'm doing and just mm, do something bad. Naughty. Things to you. Mmm, you know what kind of things I'm talking about, right? I bet you do. Mmm, all right. 
put that plate down. Leave it there for a second. Shh. I know you're nervous. You're always nervous when we 